I'm slowly like packing things up and like taking it to um, my mom's house because I'm moving back in with her. Yeah, I'm just slowly moving out stuff that I don't like use all the time and um, just moving that. I don't think I'll officially move out everything until probably like the end of the month or beginning of the new year, the new month. So, um, yeah, just kind of emptying stuff out and it looks so different. Like, you can just really tell like, okay, something's missing. So like, for example, our bookshelf, like we share the bookshelf, you know, both of our books fill it up. Um, but my books being gone makes it look super empty. Like, check it out. Yeah, I wish I had a before picture, but um, basically all the space is because of me. And there are a few books still on the shelf that I can't even remember it belongs to me or if it belongs to my roommate. Um, so I'm definitely gonna have to try to figure that out. But you know, it's good um, finally being done with classes and out of school because I just have a lot of time on my hands. And that's a good thing because I can just think and like spend time with myself and like really enjoy like me and just think through things and think through like well, how, well, like what are my next moves and what do I want to do and how do I want to do it. I still really don't want to move but uh, you know these are the cards I've dealt. Yeah it's just kind of weird I hate moving stuff. Like I like moving because I like the purge process but I don't like moving under like you know bad circumstances. Like I like moving not bad circumstances but like I like moving like the excitement of moving like oh my god I have a new house and it's like bigger and better and it's nice and I love the area blah, 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 blah. but like I don't like moving when it's like like oh my gosh me and my roommate are no longer like in the best place relationally so now I have to move out because it's just not a good situation it takes the fun out of moving and I literally feel like I'm like I broke up like, I, like I'm going through a breakup like breaking up with a boyfriend <laughs> my roommate we were like best friends and we had been kind of going through some things in our friendship and you know, I really wanted to work them out. Um, and it kind of feels just, it just sounds just like a relationship. I wanted to work them out and, you know, she really wasn't, she didn't feel like there was more to be worked out. And so now I'm the one leaving. You know, I still don't feel 100% about it, but second up, be an adult and adult this life. This vlog is so real. Cause I like, this is a, the one step that I feel like, oh my God, I feel like real, like a real adult. I gotta like find an, a better job to have, to be able to support my own apartment. It's motivating in a way because it's like, so not that my mom's house isn't great. It's an easier life because I don't really have to worry about paying rent or anything. Of course, while I'm living there, I'm gonna try to help out with bills and things like that. And I can save up money and pay off some debts, which is a plus, which is also motivating. But it's also motivating in another sense where it's like, I don't wanna be living off my mom for the next three years. I need to go out here, get a great job, a great paying job, and one that can support me to live in a nice apartment on my own. Let's hustle. And so I just kind of been in this hustle mindset, like trying to figure out like, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna get on my grind? Like, how can I make sure that I can be in a situation where I can control my own like decision to move out where I don't have to, you know, be at, you know, the mercy of someone else being like, you got to get out. I just don't want to like be there for too long and I'm not going to rush it. I'm definitely going to enjoy the slow pace of being at my mom's house and not in my own apartment and, you know, having to really think through, can I party tonight? Because that means I have to drive a little bit farther and, you know, just... Things are gonna change slightly. I'm not upset, it's just it's just this change takes adjustment. It's it's caused by the loss of a of a relationship and that sucks. And that's actually kind of what I felt about school being over for this semester. Like I was super excited to be done with class. Like don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna see a lot of the classmates that I have anymore because some of them are graduating. Definitely not gonna see that professor as much. Some of the classes were my favorite. I only had two classes. So one of them was my favorite. Um and so I was just kind of like, man, I'm losing that and I have to change things around. So that kind of like, you know, I don't know, I guess I'm like pretty sentimental when it comes to those things. Yeah, the graduation was awesome. Um, seeing my best friend, well, actually I didn't see her. Seeing her in her graduation gown was definitely worth 
the drive and spending time with my other best friend Tayla. It was so much fun. Um, and it just remind me how much I love road trips and why I love road trips. Good, the bad, and the ugly will come out. And I realized during my trip, like with, you know, just being with my best friends and just kind of like being around them, I just realized like you learn how to love people through your best friends. Definitely with best friends, you learn like the good, the bad, and the ugly about each other. But like through that, you learn to like, you don't, you don't like give up on them. And you definitely don't mistreat them or you don't like stop treating them the same way that you treat them before. It just kind of made me like just rethink a lot of other friendships and you know just what what it should look like you know and I just I'm really I feel really really like lucky. Sometimes I feel like those girls on TV living the single life and you know this one just got a new job and we're always like getting together and like for a drink and catching up and it's just so cool like I love I love just our life right now and I'm really excited to see how things go. I'm about to finish putting stuff in my car. There was a mishap while I was driving Uber one day. Passenger forgot their shoes in my car and it's been like several weeks since. I just gave them their, their shoes back. They were like, hey, do you have Venmo? I was gonna try to transfer you some money for coming all the way here to drop off my shoes. And I was like, oh, that's so sweet, but it's okay. But I was thinking about, I was like, wow, like that's so nice that someone would think to do that. So. I'm really grateful like I really think that driving sometimes for uber you meet really nice people but um that was just one stop I had to make before heading to my mom so as you can see my car most of my books that's a better view so there's books bags my neighbors um recycling in the back and then I got like a bunch of stuff up here too I'm headed off to my mommy's um to drop this stuff off and just hang out for the rest of the evening and probably hang out with Taylor. catch you on the flip side